the charge for the building committee are to answer three questions. Number one, where should the Performing Arts Center go? What is the site? Three were identified, you know those details. Which is the right site? Secondly, not designing the building. That's not what we've done these past three days, as you know. We're not picking up wallpaper and bathroom pictures. <laughs> <laughs> but rather, what should it be like? What is the concept? What's the general box look like? And then third, what is the order of magnitude cost? There have been numbers used, but given what you will see today and what will be digested in the next few days, what is the order of magnitude of cost of the building? So again, where does it go? What might it look like? What does it cost? This is about the future of this city. We're either going to be the third largest city in the state of North Carolina and have the amenities and the quality of life that enables us to keep that status, or we will fall by the wayside. This is, this is, this is really a pivotal point in our community's future. We either put this together and execute on this plan in our downtown, or Greensboro will be markedly different 20 years from now. Uh, one of the first things we heard about a lot was that Greensboro wants a 21st century venue, which is great to hear. That they don't want an 18th century opera house, they don't want a symphony hall. They want something that does many things for many people. That it should have a great patron experience. That uh, we've heard a lot of good things about Germany. It's easy to get in, get easy to get out, VIP access and things like that. It just makes going to the theater enjoyable a more often. So access, comfort, great acoustics, and then some VIP things as well. We have a tremendous amount of work to do from the information that we've gathered here um, to hand over to our cost consultants, the fifth part of our team, uh, Steve Ryan and Sean Ryan, but not related, um, from a firm named Venue in Florida, who are international experts in costing performing arts centers, have begun the exercise of looking at, at construction costs here. They've been in touch with contractors and subcontractors. Uh, they've been updating their database of comparable venues um, so that we can be able to illustrate to you what they cost. Um, and we have been feeding them, the architects and design team have been feeding them some preliminary information about directions that we're heading to get advice from them to make sure we build or plan an efficient building as we go forward. Well, if you really wanted it to be a catalyst for downtown development, that it incorporated outdoor public space, as Jeff had said earlier, that it's active day and night, that this is not something that people just come to in the evening time, that there is a full wealth of activities that happen during the day that make it a you know, very uh, active place to be 24 hours a day. I just want to reinforce the importance of what we as a community have to do. This is not a choice. We have to execute on this plan and we have to make it the best plan for the next 100 plus years for Greensboro, North Carolina. And the work that all of you are doing is so significant to the future of this community. I just want to reinforce that as, 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 as the start of this discussion. Whether it goes on any of these sites, that's okay. But what we need to do is make sure it happens and it happens in our downtown.